Sicilian Defense, Open, Accelerated Dragon, Murchi Bind, Gurgenic Variation. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto onto the long diagonal. The pawn on c5 is attacked, center space is taken up by d4, and the dark squared bishop can advance. Cx d4 captures the central d4 pawn and opens up the center. Nx d4 captures the d4 pawn and places the knight in the center. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. C4 obtains room on the queen side and center and gets ready to advance the knight to c3. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. Nc3 controls the d5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and protects the e4 pawn. Nx d4 captures the knight on d4 and forces qx d4 from white, after black plays bg7, there may be tricks against the queen on d4. Qx d4 recaptures the knight and pins the knight on f6 to the rook on h8. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. A wise decision. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to capture a pawn that was threatening to win material. It is a mistake. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends a knight who is being attacked and is not well defended. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a bad move and black is no longer in a losing position. It is brilliant. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only move that works. It is best. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is a mistake. There was only one move that was effective, 
and this wasn't it? That falls flat. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. That's good. This misses a better way to move a piece to safety. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a knight. It is a mistake. This exposes an attack, threatening a knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is best. This exposes a pawn attack. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. Although the game was almost evenly balanced, white now holds the advantage. That falls flat. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. It is a miss. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is superior at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to use a rook to support a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a mistake. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. There was just one smart move to be made. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. By doing this, a bishop may be tied to the king. It is incorrect. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This allows the opponent to pin a bishop to the king. It is a mistake. This immobilizes the opponent's bishop by pinning it to the king. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. This frees a pinned bishop, allowing it to provide defense. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.